um, earlier. You know, we've been longtime school board members for our various districts. And it would be a disservice to my uh, constituents and, and school districts if I didn't rise in a opposition to this bill. You know, rural Oregon is different. I've said on this floor before that I've uh, been an eight-year school board member for the most impoverished school district, the eighth most impoverished school district in the nation, which is kind of a, a stark um, statistic if you think about it. Out of the number of school board or school districts across this nation, Port Orford Langlois School District is the eighth most impoverished district. But what do we do as school board members there? We embraced CTE programs and kept our um, elected programs because we know that if Johnny is building that butcher block table in wood shop for his mom, he's going to get through English, or at least we hope he does. But as our school district um, struggles throughout rural Oregon because of the lack of family wage working jobs in rural Oregon, so does the um, decline of students occur, which then causes less resources to come to the district. And so we don't have class sizes that are large, per se, until we're forced to combine them, which causes other complications in the whole process. Because we're combining fifth and sixth grade, or seventh and eighth, and 11th and 12th, and we, we heard earlier from other testimony that our teachers don't have a voice. They certainly do, because we also heard from other testimony that you elect school board members, the citizens of, this, of, of your district elect school board members to negotiate those contracts, and I've been part of those and many times over the years. And their people and those teachers are, are, are embraced by the community and, and are members of our community. And you meet them in the store and the post office and, and, and throughout uh, the district. And they go to the basketball games with the kids. And these things need to be dealt with at the district level. And this bill will force a conversation that's already allowed to occur. I can't tell you the number of... Uh, emails I received on this bill that um, of individuals that have already been negotiating class sizes in the Portland area school districts. So colleagues, once again, we're looking at legislation that has a broad impact across the state that might affect negatively, excuse me, negatively affect districts in rural Oregon that are barely hanging on. So I urge a no vote. Thank you.